Country music legend Shenandoah will be performing at the Mountain Arts Center in February 2025, but tickets are on sale now. The show has been highly requested by fans and now the Mac intends to deliver when they hit the stage early next year. Mountain Arts Center Executive Director Joe Campbell tells us more. February 22nd, uh, 2025, we're already putting some shows out there for 2025. <clears throat> uh, Shenandoah, um, we get a lot of requests for them over the years. I know they've played here uh, in the area recently. But, you know, it's nothing like playing here at the MAC, and, and everybody loves uh, coming here and sitting in a comfy seat and getting away from some, some things. But uh, we're looking forward to Shenandoah. Like I said, a lot of requests for them over the years and uh, such a legendary 90s group, 90s country. You can't, you can't beat it. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The concert is also being presented by Hillbilly Christmas in July thanks to a partnership with the Mountain Arts Center. Ticket sales will be going back into the community to help the organization. Um, they're such a great organization to work with. Um, we work with them on two or three shows a year. Um, we, this is the second year in a row we've done a wintertime <clears throat> co-production with them, you know, um, to partner with them. Um, they usually do a couple other shows here a year and um, they truly are for the kids. They truly give back to the kids and um, there's such big hearts <clears throat> with that organization and it's just easy to work with them. But they're just a great bunch and uh, they love good music so we're, we're always w willing to work with them on that. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.